One of my favorite things to do in the fall is plant trees. <laughs> yes, fall is such a great time because you've got uh, all of the fall and even into the winter and real early in the spring for the roots to actually get developed right. before more, you have to worry about a hot summer. It's more moist this time of year, so it's easier on the plant. Exactly, you get all yeah. that moisture. Okay. So the next, you know, in this particular site, we got some not great soil but it's going to be growing out in this field mm -hmm. and the roots of this tree are going to spread all over out here anyway mm -hmm. so to get too fancy with this hole mm -hmm. really is uncalled for you always want the hole to be the exact um, height of the pot that you're going to be putting in there but wider all right so one of the things we really got to be careful with is is uh loosening the roots mm -hmm. around the tree you just got to kind of get these things pulled out and cut and what have you, so that they don't go around and round and round in the hole. Mm -hmm. This tree's been in the pot for a long time, so it's really important to, to get them, and some of them you have to cut. Mm -hmm. So now we've got the tree in the hole. We've backfilled it just a little bit, and we're mm -hmm. gonna put our starter fertilizer packets in there. They're biodegradable, mm -hmm. just throw them in. And the real key is that we have this plant level with the existing ground. Right. No higher, no lower. Right, right dead level. And you want to make sure you see that trunk flare. You don't want to bring it up too high on that. Exactly. All that's left to do now is, is water it in really well. Right. And we recommend using some of the plant starter, which is a great way to just get some root development going. Okay. And last but not least, uh, this is deer area, yes. deer prone area. So we put a tree guard around the base of the plant to keep those, those uh, bucks from, from rubbing their antlers on this tree and ruining it. Right. Uh, how long should we leave that tree guard on, though? You don't want to leave it on forever, right? Well, you can take it off in the spring, and then you might want to keep it on, you know, put it on uh, winters, you know, for the next few years. Okay? All right. So now we can sit back and enjoy this tree. Mm -hmm. So thank you for joining us. I'm Liz Snyder. And I'm Jim Hotang, the home gardeners from Hillside Garden and Landscaping.